Hey there, this is Matt O'Leary, and four years ago today, Chelsea won the European Cup. Today I'll be reviewing the second full-length album from Chris Cohen, who's sort of the surprisingly unknown member of Deerhoof. Uh, he also played with Ariel Pink, um, he had his band The Curtain, so he's really a seasoned artist that's been in the industry for a long time, and he's always moving on to the next idea. If you go back and listen to a Curtains record, and then you listen to this one, you'll sort of get the full range of Chris's recorded talents, from experimental to more straightforward indie rock and a lot of 60s psych pop nostalgia. I really fell in love with this guy's first one, Overgrown Path, from 2012, which was off a recommendation from Twitter. Thank you, Zabari. You're the man. Chris has got this very Ira Kaplan from Yola Tango-ish vocal tone. I can't really think of any other way to describe Overgrown Path besides Pleasant, so go listen to it. For me, it, it's an escape from a brutal world um, and bliss in, in really only the way music can provide. And Chris is still really a one-man band on this album. He's playing every instrument, he's recording at home in his home setup, so that's all really impressive, and every instrument seems to contribute really equally and have its own moment. And that really well-balanced sound is probably best exemplified in one of the singles here, In a Fable, with its galloping bass line and jazzy syncopated pianos and sputtering guitar solo near the end. There's just this vintage warmth around this whole sound. It's very similar and almost identical to Overgrown Path, but this one's decidedly sadder. My favorite track on this thing, the title track, As If Apart, with its killer swing and rumbling tom fills, speaks of this vague loneliness, sort of toying around with the idea of two lives separating and then coming back together, and sort of what happens as a result. And Chris adds just a sprinkle of this really enigmatic meaning to sort of make the songs more relatable. I think of the line, one half is not enough, and two half is not enough. A couple other songs here highlight poeticism by stripping the arrangement bare, kind of like the song Solitude from the last record. Most notably is Sun Has Gone Away, which slowly ambles along and then finally plunges into a dissonant haze. This and another song, Needle and Thread, read a lot like a Sid Barrett solo album, something off a madcap laughs with their eerie and, and almost ominous childlike simplicity. This guy operates completely within this really woozy and wistful psych pop sound. He can be a bit of a wallflower. My wife was listening to these songs and she's pretty convinced that each song is exactly the same. And I'll admit that these songs can sort of lull you into a stupor if you're not listening critically. But do so and you'll realize how intricate and complex these compositions really are. I've probably listened to this 25 to 30 times and I'm still noticing little minutia here and there that's new and refreshing. Like this subtle back and forth on the song The Lender between the bouncing keys and Cohen's really playful vocal melody, he's got a little bit of this call and response Beethoven thing going on. Or these cavernous percussive pops panned hard to the left that echo in and out throughout this song. Or take the title track. Listen for those tiny and delicate little piano runs before and during the chorus. And don't forget all those crazy jazz chords like at the beginning of that title track. Yeah, I'll admit that Cohen isn't taking a ton of risks, but his comfort zone, his wheelhouse is definitely, definitely worth listening to. It's not shockingly original, but it's equally accessible and detailed, more rewarding each time. So somewhere in between 7.5 and 8 out of 10 for me on Chris Cohen's As If Apart, a definite recommendation. Someday I'll be hoping for something a little more artistically gutsy, but at the moment I'm totally enamored by this guy's musicianship and style. Look out for a Haken review of Affinity pretty soon here, um, hopefully in the next few days. I'm also going to do a what I'm listening to, kind of all of my favorite albums from um, the last few months, just this springtime uh, in general. So I'm going to be doing that soon. And that's really it. Like, subscribe, comment, tell me what you think about this album. Say hi to Beautiful Bear. And thank you so much for watching.